One eternity later. Yo. <laughs> Hello guys, coming to you from the cargo ship. I arrived at the docks this morning at like before 7 in the morning. Left ACT out at like 20 past 6 this morning. It's now 4 p.m. The boat hasn't left. We only just got on the boat. We've been waiting at the border this whole time. The boat was delayed due to bad weather, but we are finally here. And this is my room here. I am going to be sharing it with these two Chinese people that I met and also met a bunch of travelers also. There's three German guys, an American guy, and two Italians. And so we kind of formed this little group. Cool to meet some travelers. And these guys are extreme travelers. Some of them bought a car in Iran and they even got into places like Turkmenistan which if you don't know is like the second most controlled country in the world. Drove their car all around the stands. But anyway um, I'm just gonna get settled in here guys and then I'm gonna give you a tour of the ship and hopefully it leaves before the sunset so we can get the sunset filming off the boat. If not then hopefully tomorrow morning I can get some clips in the light but I'm still gonna give you a tour and uh, we get breakfast, lunch and dinner on this boat so I'm gonna show you the food. Come in! Sour! Give me your passport and uh, okay. ticket. Oh, you're next door. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Where are you? You're by yourself? No, I'm the Chinese. You really? Yeah. I think this is a fold down bed, though. And there's like life jackets if you want to look cool oh, on your thanks. video. So, yeah. Gonna get settled in here, then I'll take you for a tour and show you more of this cool boat. It's super cool. So the boat's gonna take anywhere from 24 to I don't know how many hours, it depends. I mean, it's really taken nine more than it should have and we haven't left yet, so. <laughs> So, here we are on the top deck of this boat that we're going to be on. So, behind me, those are dry cargo ships. So, they take things like containers, I think. There's also tankers around here, so fuel tankers, because the Caspian Sea has a lot of oil in it. That's where Kazakhstan gets a lot of its money from. The boat that we're on, it's a truck cargo ship, so it takes trucks. Sometimes it lets on dirty travelers like me. There's rough seas, we haven't left port yet. It's now 7.30 p.m. We were supposed to leave this morning at 8 a.m., so almost 12 hours delayed. They're saying the earliest we'll get there is in two days. We're gonna get to know each other very well. I've got two Germans staying with me. In about half an hour, it's dinner time. I'm gonna show you the food. So I know as much as you guys. Apparently we're gonna move Anchor soon down the coast of Kazakhstan. Stay there for the night. If that stops, we'll leave in the morning. If it doesn't, they said, who knows, we could be staying here for a week until the weather clears. So wish us luck. I'll show you a bit around the boat though. Um, I just got lost looking for the toilet. So that's always a good sign, especially when you're gonna be here for a long time. Then you can get to know the place so let's go for a walk at this side of the boat we have the Kazakhstan flag and at the other side we have the Azerbaijan flag been lucky enough to meet a few of the crew here this is an Azerbaijani boat uh, the staff are super kind it's <laughs> they're really charismatic and you know outgoing at the back here you can see the colors of Azerbaijan painted on the boat and then the flag at the back So hopefully we will we'll be leaving shortly, but who knows, and at least we'll be able to get some views down the coast here. I do have my drone with me, so on this trip I'm going to be trying to get some drone footage. I think it would be pretty epic if you could get some drone footage of the ship going through the Caspian Sea with the drone looking down on it. I'll show you a few more shots of the boat, then we'll go and see what the stin is like. So 
So this is Fernandez. <laughs> what do you have to say to the world? Hey guys. <laughs> Killian. How's it going? Killian, nice to meet you guys. These guys are Germans. And where did you drive from? Uh, we drove from Iran to Kyrgyzstan, passed through Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, then Kyrgyzstan. So then many stans. We covered actually all stans, except for Afghanistan and Pakistan. And Rajasthan. And Rajasthan, exactly. <laughs> Nice work. So we've come to get food. This is what these guys are having. It's like chicken and pasta and soup, vegetables. There's a big bag of bread over there. I got some pasta and brought my own vegetables and stuff. Alright guys, all done with dinner there. Now we're actually leaving the port. It's 9 o'clock so 15, I'm so lost, 15 hours delay and we're finally leaving. So I'm trying to make my way to the roof, see the sunset from the boat, but this place is a maze. Goodbye, Kazakhstan. Here we are. Hey man. How long have you been up here? Okay guys, so welcome back to Professor Gul, the name of the boat here. Uh, it's actually one whole day later. Yesterday we waited on anchor right next to Kazakhstan for the whole day and we couldn't move. So I didn't film, just thought I'd wait. The sea was too rough, but the good news is now we're actually moving. Uh, we're crossing the strait and we should be there like late tonight or tomorrow morning. I just got a little tour of the cockpit, so here are a few clips of that. So that's Kazakhstan and then we go to Baku, Turkmenistan. What's uh, this? The phone? Emergency. 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 Okay. And these? Navigation. Okay. So yeah, pretty cool. He was a bit hesitant to let me film in there at first, but cool to see all that equipment and that old phone and things. So yeah, for the last day of just hanging out and like talking to the other travellers, super cool to have all those different travellers here and good chats at sea and things. It's amazing what happens when you take internet out of the equation, how much more sociable human beings get. Soon I think I'm going to get the drone up. I'll try it and see how windy it is, but hopefully I can get some cool shots. Alright guys, so I'll give you a bit of a tour of the boat here. Just been recovering from the drone incident. Take you to the back of the boat first. This is like the staff area, so. Oh. 
Hey. Hi. Hello. How are you? And then here's the back of the boat here. Got an Azerbaijan flag. And this is the top deck. This is where I crashed my uh, drone earlier. That door doesn't work apparently. Here we are on the Caspian. A few things that I, I mentioned in a past video that I'll just go over just in case you didn't see the last video. The Caspian's deepest point is 1,025 meters. It's got 26 islands. Countries that border it are Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Russia, Azerbaijan and Iran. Largest body of water in the world. Here we are back in the boat. Can hold up to 65 passengers, but right now there's only 13. So it's not a very busy time right now, but check this out. This is the common area. This is our room guys. This is for three people. Well, you can fit four. So I'm sleeping with these two German guys. You walk in, you got a mirror. Another mirror, a sink. That's the German's bed down there. This is my bed up here. And then you have the Caspian Sea right there. And then this bed folds down up here. And then a bunch of cupboards. It's actually pretty comfortable. Got another hour and a half until dinner. I'll check back in with you then and show you some of the food. Yeah guys, I mean, not much really happens on board, as you can imagine. Just chilling and waiting for the days to pass. So gutted about that drone though, you know? I mean, could have been a lot worse. At least I've still got it, and that's life sometimes. Enough crying over spilt milk. Crying over spilt milk. What does that mean? Later on, I'll catch up and we'll go get some food. <laughs> All right guys, so finally made it to Baku in Azerbaijan. The last clips you saw, that was last night. You could see the dinner there. And that was our last meal on the boat. So we got through customs this morning. I was hanging out with a German guy, American Korean guy, and two Italians. We kind of like hitchhiked with this guy out of the ferry port and a taxi driver saw it. I don't know if you noticed the clips before, the guy getting really kind of upset on video. So basically he saw what was happening. He pulled up to us in his taxi, parked in front of us, got out of his car and started like shouting at the driver. I think he was saying, you took my customers, blah, 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 and our driver was super nice. He just wanted to help out and he was giving us heaps of local advice. Anyway, they ended up, you know, settling it. The taxi driver was really upset. Understandably, you know, he's probably waiting there for customers and things, but who are we to deny, you know, a free ride from a nice local guy? And then the local guy drops us at a, at a bus stop 
and then talks to another local guy. This other local guy shows us onto the bus, takes us all the way into Baku, and then he helps us get onto a local bus, and we go on that bus, and then we make it into town. Now I'm here. I managed to book this Airbnb this morning using this Chinese couples we met on the boat's Wi-Fi hotspot, and last minute kind of find here really nice place. I'll show you it in another video. The Caspian Sea Ferry as a whole guys, really amazing trip to be honest with you. Very tiring at times. We got woken up this morning and we had to wait until we docked but we were up for sunrise. You can see those clips there. It was worth it for that sunrise guys. It was so cool because to have that, that group of friends, we all got to know each other so fast and when you take that internet away like I was saying earlier, you know, everybody comes really close together and really interesting people. Two Germans traveling together who bought in a, a car in Iran and drove it all through all the stands. They've taken it back today to try and sell it on the Iranian border. Then there was a Korean guy. He was born in Korea, but he's pretty much American. He's lived there most of his life. Done the most outrageous travel, the, probably the most extreme travel stories I've heard from anyone. And then there was another German guy who's just spent the last year and a half in Nepal and India. A year and a half in Nepal and India, that is something that will really test your patience. So he was the most chill guy ever. And then there were two Italians that were traveling together who have just traveled China, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, and Kazakhstan, all coming over land. It's super cool. A newly married Chinese couple, for their honeymoon, they rode a motorbike from China across Kazakhstan to this boat where we met them, and then they're driving all throughout Europe, and then they're ending it for the World Cup in Russia, the Football World Cup. So we all kind of like hung out together. So many laughs, heavy discussions, some disagreements. You know, that, that was so cool. I'll put the emphasis on the no internet thing. Don't get me wrong. I love internet obviously I think it's a great tool but to take that away you know there's no chances to reach for your phone and grab that and kind of you know disconnect from what's going on around you so that was such a cool element and you know being trapped at sea and sometimes the food's not that good and the toilet situation it kind of brings everyone together and I'm sure you guys know what I mean but super cool experience guys you have to if you really like adventure kind of things this is probably for you I'll make another video about all the tips and advice you need to know about the ferry because there isn't any on YouTube that I've come across. Hopefully that'll help out a few people. And yeah guys, in Azerbaijan for a little while yet, I'm going to be spending more time here than I did in Kazakhstan. I'm going to be heading up into the mountains hopefully, fingers crossed everything going well. Exploring more of Baku here. This city is super developed, I'm so surprised again because these countries, you know, as ex-Soviet countries, they get this reputation but it's not true. Anyway guys, I think that's enough talking. I really hope you enjoyed the ferry trip. The only downside was the drone crashing so I can get those epic aerial shots, but at least I still have the drone and it didn't end up in the Caspian Sea. I'll do my best to try and get a new propeller while I'm here in Azerbaijan so I can get that guy up in the air again and we can get some cool shots, but you'll have to stay tuned to see if that works out because who knows. Thank you so much for watching guys. It was a huge journey. It's an amazing way to uh, appreciate things like a lovely apartment, but that's what traveling is all about. It's kind of pushing your comfort zones and taking something away from it and meeting really cool people while doing it. It's, uh, it's beautiful. In case I don't see you guys, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.